Hi, I'm Kira Becker, Chair of the 2015 Stroke Conference. And I'm Bruce Uviagli, Vice Chair of the 2015 ISE Program Committee. It's been quite an exciting conference. Some would even say historic. We heard the results of three new endovascular stroke trials, SWIFT Prime, IA Extend, and Escape, all of which were overwhelmingly positive and in line with the published Mr. Clean results, essentially showing that you double the chance of returning to independence when you're treated with early endovascular therapy. So the challenge now will be going back to our communities and figuring out how we can offer this therapy to everybody. Bruce, what else did you find exciting in this well, conference? Well, I found um, the uh, eye care trial very exciting. Mm -hmm. Eye care looked at a high dose intensity of rehabilitation in patients who had upper motor extremity weakness. Although the primary outcome wasn't met, it did show that there was a, a, a greater time to recovery in those patients who received the high intensity uh, rehabilitation. The other study I found compelling was the JSTAR study, which looked at low-dose pravastatin in patients who had experienced a recent stroke. Yet again, although the primary outcome wasn't met, we did see there was a significant reduction in atherothrombotic infarctions in that cohort of patients. And the other thing I found a little bit compelling was the analysis of Mr. Clean, which looked at comparing patients who received general anesthesia before they had their procedure done versus those who received local. And that confirmed what we knew already, but was very, very compelling, showing that GA or general anesthesia did not seem to have the same kind of benefit um, in terms of functional outcome at three months compared to those who received local anesthesia. So that's something to note. Again, not randomized, but compelling and instructive, perhaps for practice. That's something certainly to consider as we begin to offer these therapies to our patients. Mm -hmm. I would also mention the California Teachers Study that looked at the Mediterranean diet and showed that those participants who had a high score on the Mediterranean diet, which is essentially a, a diet that emphasizes plant-based um, food, um, had a lower risk of stroke. Absolutely, absolutely. And there are not many studies that have shown that. So I think this is the, maybe the second or third of us. So it, it was very compelling to see that. Exactly. I might also mention the pre-conferences that were held this year, ah. the nursing symposium. Yes. We had um, Stroke in the Real World right. that looked at hospital-based therapy for right. stroke. And then a trainees conference that looked at um, innovative trial design and, and biomarkers. Right. No, very interesting. Um, I think very well attended and well received, I thought. Particularly the um, Stroke in the Real World, which I, 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 I was part of and just seeing the debates and the discussions around the optimal diagnostic techniques and treatment patterns for patients who have experienced a stroke in the hospital was very, very instructive. I think this pre-conference has become quite popular even among seasoned stroke that's veterans. Right, that's right, so that's right. So we look forward that's to right. continuing um, right. to offer these um, opportunities in the years to come. Absolutely. So I want to thank everybody for participating in this year's conference and we look forward to seeing you next year in Los Angeles.